The updated version of Zika's 001 can charge in seven minutes. Seven minutes. Um, guys, was anyone saying something about slow charging EVs? The slowest charging version of this car, actually, it uses NMC batteries from CATL. And it charges in only 10 minutes. I mean, come on. Zika has just very, very quietly and secretly revealed 1,140 kilowatt charging speed for its new 001 fastback, liftback. One of my favorite cars that's ever been made. I wish they sold this in Australia. Many people have been asking for it. I know a lot of Americans want this car as well. But all of a sudden, this car, which was already great, has gone to awesome level. I mean, 12C charging, which equates to 1,140 kilowatt, lithium ion phosphate, advanced batteries, and well, more than 1,000 horsepower in the non-FR the non -FR version. This thing is, these cars honestly are so exciting and so cool. Here are the details, guys. You've got to check these out. I'm curious to know, am I just like being a fan here or is this legitimately as awesome as what I think? Let me know what you think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. It's reported today from China that the new Zika 001, which will go on sale in a matter of weeks, will get um, some pretty big changes. For one, the power output of a non-FR version, the FR version is the essentially uh, the ultra version of this car. So the non-ultra version now gets 680 kilowatt or 912 horsepower. It can do zero to 100 in 2.83 seconds, 2.8 seconds, and has charging speed of 1,140 kilowatt. What does that mean? I mean, well, technically the DC charging is called 12C. Now, because it has a 95 kilowatt hour battery, that equates to 1,140 kilowatt charging. Now, the Zika 001 was designed as a concept car, originally says Car News China, for the Lincoln Co brand. But then Zika said, no, 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 we want that. And they made it. And this vehicle is built on the SEA modular architecture in February 2024. The 001 facelift entered the Chinese market with a power boost and enhanced equipment. On the 23rd of September, 2025, the updated 2026 model year Zika 01 became available for order in China. And it has a 900 volt architecture along with these other changes that I've just mentioned. You can see it's not really very much different in terms of looks from the original version, which is a good thing because the original one looked incredible. So they've only just changed it modestly. Honestly, if you're looking at this car and thinking, oh, it's good, but not amazing. You've got to go, you've got to see these in real life because everyone I've traveled with in China, whenever they see this car, think it's one of the best looking cars they've ever seen. It's um, not massive either. It's big, but not huge. It's five meters long, 4,977 millimeters. Wheelbase though is pretty long. 3,005 millimeters, meaning it's a fairly spacious car on the inside. The new 001 gets dual chamber air suspension that can be adjusted by 85 millimeters, which is quite a big difference. However, this car, even in its highest setting, sits at only 206 millimeters, which is not particularly high. So in its lowest setting, that means it actually will go down to, two, to 130 millimeters, which is extremely low. And that gives it tremendous aerodynamic improvements in terms of efficiency at highway speeds. Now, in addition to this dual chamber air suspension, it also gets a CDC continuous damping control system. And I've driven this, guys, I've driven this uh, continuous damping control system along with air suspension in the new Zika 7X all-wheel drive. And I can tell you, 
it's actually extremely good. I know there's some YouTubers that have said that they think it's not great. Uh, there's some people that have said it's awesome, and I'm definitely in the awesome camp. Another benefit, says Car News China, the 2026 model year Zika 001, is the G-Pilot H7 driver assistance system. Essentially, it's like Tesla Autopilot, but um, it's had a, a pretty big upgrade. It's got 31 sensors, including a LiDAR, and they send information to the NVIDIA Thor U-chip. Peak computing power is 700 tops. That is uh, tr a trillion operations per second. So very, very fast. To give you some context, the outgoing Zika 001 had the G-Pilot H5 system. That had two NVIDIA Orion X chips capable of 508 tops. So they've gone from 508 to 700 in the new generation. The powertrain is the biggest improvement though, the biggest change. The rear wheel drive version of this car gets a single electric motor putting out 370 kilowatt. That's 490 horsepower at the rear axle from a single motor. Imagine four of those. That's what I think the new Zika 001 FR is going to get, which is a lot of power. I mean, that is 1,480 kilowatt or more than 2,000 horsepower. Anyhow, getting back to the real world, this is powered by two battery options. The base, the base model is Geely's Golden Brick Battery or the Short Blade Battery. It's a 95 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate battery that can charge at 1,140 kilowatt. I don't know the charging speed for the bigger battery, which is an NMC battery, 103 kilowatt hour battery, Katel technology, I believe it's the Cheerin battery from CATL, which is NMC. The CLTC range is 710 kilometers for the 95 kilowatt hour LFP battery and 810 kilometers for the NMC battery from CATL. So WLTP range would be approximately 700 kilometers for the, for the bigger battery and about 600 kilometers for the smaller battery. Peak speed is 280 kilometers for the rear wheel drive version, which is kind of mental. The all drive version, by the way, this is not the sports, super sports version. This is just the standard four drive version. Gets two electric motors, one at the front with 310 kilowatt and one at the rear with 370 kilowatt for a total of 680 kilowatt. That's 912 horsepower. Zika says zero to 100 takes 2.83 seconds. No rollouts, none of that bullshit. It's just a legitimate 2.83 seconds, zero to 100. The outgoing model, it had 580 kilowatt. So power has been increased by 100 kilowatt, which is um, actually 135, 135 horsepower. The European model gets, um, Car News China says this, the European model gets 400 kilowatt or 536 horsepower, and it has the same two battery options for CLTC range, which is a little lower, 640 to 762 kilometers. Top speed is 280 kilometers an hour. I'm a bit confused by that information, but um, we'll find out soon what the full details are on the European version of this car. I'm going to guess it just hasn't received the new updates yet and probably will next year. To give you guys an, an idea on just how fast the charging is for this car, 10 to 80% takes seven minutes. You can add 500 kilometers of range in seven minutes. Now, of course, you need the right charging um, pile and you're not going to find one with this kind of charging speed in Europe, but you will in China though. To show you the big difference between lithium, newer lithium ion phosphate batteries, and NMC batteries. NMC batteries do have one significant advantage, they have more energy density, but one big disadvantage, which is charging speed. The charging speed of the Chilin battery from CATL, the NMC battery in the long range version, is literally half the speed. I mean, it's like 650 kilowatt charging, or 600 actually. So charging speed for that battery, 10 to 80% takes 10 minutes. Six minutes versus 10 minutes. I mean, it's a big difference, but to be honest, I think um, I'd be happy with either one of those personally. Pretty awesome to see this. I think Zika has really put themselves now at the forefront. They now have the fastest charging EVs you can buy in China. Uh, value is also incredible. To give you some idea on the cost of these cars, 
the base model version starts at 36,000 US dollars. For 36,000 US dollars, you're getting a 95 kilowatt hour battery with 600 kilometers of range in a five meter long car, 900 volt architecture, charges in six minutes, and it looks epic. Plus, it's pretty damn fast too. Honestly, guys, what is not to love? Now, I forgot to mention the air suspension. I mean, that's just another awesome bonus. Thanks for watching.